something has happened that is absolutely boiling my piss. And it's in relation to a reservoir, I call it a lock, but it's a reservoir that I like to go fishing in. It's called Rough Rig Reservoir, or as everybody calls it, the rig. Right? And it's next to the village of Salisbury. Now, I go fishing in this loch, so does pretty much everyone in Salisbury, as they've done for a very, very long time. And it seems now that the council want to drain it and get rid of it. So that means no more fishing, no, nothing else for the people of Salisbury, despite the fact that this has been there for over 170 years. This reservoir has been there for over 170 years. The people of Salisbury have fished it for a very, very, very long time. Like, some of my family fish in the reservoir, and their dads and their granddads have all fished in the reservoir for a very, very long time. And that is, it's pretty much the only thing that Salisbury has, right? No, I don't mean to insult Salisbury, right? It's a lovely place, but as far as for things for the youngsters to do, there isn't much. But one thing that they did have was the rig. They could all go up, sit there, fish, stay out of trouble, have an actual hobby, have an actual pastime. And now it seems that the council want to take that away. Rough Rig Reservoir in North Lanarkshire is over 170 years old and has not been used as a source of drinking water since 1980. Situated east of Airdrie in Coat Bridge with an embankment dam at the western end, the reservoir covers around 137 acres of land. Scotland reservoirs are regulated under the Reservoir Scotland Act of 2011 and Scottish Water must now make a decision on its future. Rough Rig, rough, rough rig, yeah. uh, rough rig is a high-risk Category A reservoir, which means if the dam were to fail, there is a significant potential risk to people and property downstream. Uh, reservoirs undergo a detailed inspection every 10 years, and in 2016, this identified rough rig required significant work in the interest of safety under new guidance published in 2017. This work must be carried out by 2022. Proposals, we are currently looking at options for the future of this disused asset and these include significant works to bring it up to current required standards and whole life maintenance, that would be the preferred option, or draining the reservoir and making a cut in the dam to an outlet channel to remove the risk of dam failure and impact to people and properties downstream. Now, one thing that has been pointed out and we've, you know, I've, I've been up to the rig a few times with a few people is... The water level has been going down. Now, usually this happens in the summer, or this usually happens if there hasn't been any rain, but then it always bounces back after the heavy rains. But it's went down and it's stayed down. So there are a few theories, a few theories, that they're already draining it. Maybe a decision has already been made, and this is just to give us the illusion that we had choice. I'm hoping that that is not the case, but the fact that the water level has been steadily draining and it hasn't come back has left me a little bit worried. I mean, it's nicer getting the fish closer to the deep, but, you know, no. <laughs> uh, keeping and maintaining the reservoir does not take into consideration any future changes to guidance or legislation, which may incur further unknown costs. Although the site has no formal paths or boats canoes on the water itself, the reservoir serves an active local angling club, club whose members have leased the asset for fishing for a number of years. Draining the reservoir removes the risk of dam failure and a small body of water would be retained to manage high flows in a flood event. All measures to protect the local environment and, and wildlife will be taken, including a fish rescue operation. Well, what about the birds? There's birds of prey that feed on the fish in there. Like, I've seen them. I've even seen owls doing it as well. What about them? Uh, green environment it's also provides an opportunity to plant native Scottish woodland within the reservoir basin. This would help offset greenhouse gas emissions. Right, G given the size of the basin, no, no, no it wouldn't. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. What a nonsense reason. Uh, and supporting Scottish waters and Scotland's net zero ambitions. A woodland area could create a new green space to explore and a haven for nature, benefiting the wider local communities. It, it's already a haven for nature. It already is a haven for nature. Right? So that, what a stupid reason. Uh, under the outdoor access code, the area will maintain the same level of access, regardless of what action is taken. Have your say. Scottish Water is committed to putting customers at the heart of everything we do. We're now looking to engage with local communities in the area to gather their views on the long-term future of Rough Rig Reservoir. And judging from all of the people I've spoken to from Salisbury, 
they want to keep the reservoir. It's their reservoir. They have fished in it for very for many, many years. And it's pretty much, again, I'm not insulting Salisbury. It's like the only thing that they have to do. It's the only thing that they have to do. Pretty much everybody in Salisbury fishes. They all fish. They all fish in the rig. Right? It's the only thing for, like, youngsters to do as well in Salisbury. And now you're going to take it away from them. Like, it's been there for, like, 200 years, and it's just, oh, we can't afford it anymore, so we're just going to, we're just going to take away the only thing that your village has to do. It's honestly it's shocking. It's absolutely shocking. But there is an online survey that you can complete. You can complete, and you can do it, and you can let them know your thoughts. And they're doing their take survey, and I'll include the link to this in the bottom of the video. So, please, I, I understand the temptation is high. No memes, no trolling, serious answers only. And let them know that we want to keep the rig because it's the only thing for youngsters to do in Salisbury, right? People fish up there all the time. I go fishing there as often as I can. Again, not so much since the lockdown, although I had one or two cheeky wee trips. But still, it's a great place to go and fish, right? probably the only decent place to go and fish for a, you know, unless you feel like driving for an hour or two. But honestly, like, you can't, I mean, it's been there and it's been part of the village for like 200 years. You can't just turn around and take it away, especially after it's become so important to the culture of the village, right? The youngster will tell you what, if you want to drain the reservoir, start putting in like football parks and everything for the kids, because if you take away the reservoir, they've got nothing else. They've got nothing else again. I'm not saying Salisbury is a shite place, right? I've got family that live there. It's a lovely place with great people. And you're going to take away the only thing that they have to do, the only thing that their kids have to do. And I just think it's absolutely shocking. So yeah, go down, take take the survey, let them know what you think. Don't let them drain the rig.